Good morning, everyone. Now the next topic that is operating system with examples. As in the previous session before midterm exam, uh, I think I have told you that how to convert uh, like one number system into another number system. But uh, rest of the number system like octal uh, octal number system conversion has been left till now. So that conversion I'll cover in the next session or next to next session. Till then, what you do, you just uh, start unit number three. So uh, in unit number three, uh, if you check uh, then uh, the number of contents in unit number three, then uh, operating the concept of operating system is there. So operating system uh, and uh, its examples will be discussed in today's session. So let us uh, start. Like this is your syllabus and. Um, if you uh, if you check your slavers then in unit number three like uh, ms dos is men mentioned with its basic commands like internal command and external command but uh, these all are the uh, these all will be discussed in the practical session i'll tell you in the practical session that how to use these internal and external commands in case of ms dos Okay, so that uh, marked portion which is in yellow color, uh, it will be discussed in the practical session and uh, the rest is the theoretical part. So we will cover today the uh, types of operating system and its examples. Okay, then in the next session the function will be discussed. So till then you just check like the what is what do you mean by operating system and what are the examples of operating system or you can see what are the different types of operating system done so let us start so first of all operating system operating system is what operating system means one uh, like interface one interface between the user and the computer hardware so who is user like if i want to use one laptop or the computer system then i am the user and uh, uh, the laptop or the computer system on which you want to use something then that will be known as the computer hardware so basically operating system is the mediator like with the help of which we are interacting with that hardware or you can say like with the help of which the user is interacting with the computer hardware so basically that is uh, your operating system so uh, if uh, i want to write definition of it then what i'll write like operating system is uh, or it acts as an intermediary between the user of a computer and the computer hardware so this point is important because uh, basically whenever you will write the types of it whenever you will write the examples of it then uh, you should have the concept of operating system like it acts as an intermediary or it acts as an interface between the user and the hardware so basically the main purpose of an operating system is to provide an environment in which a user can execute the programs in an in a convenient and efficient manner for example uh, like you want to play one game onto a computer system so for that purpose what you have to do first of all you have to start your computer system okay so uh, to get ready your computer system the operating system will work in the uh, like background okay so if there is an operating system installed in your computer then only your computer will restart with your computer will uh, like uh, boot and uh, it will give you uh, to uh, like uh, enter the password which you have uh, put in your computer system to open it then after all like um, all the connected uh, input devices or output devices will work so this is possible only with the help of operating system right so we can also say like uh, an operating system is a software it is kind it is a kind of system software basically because uh, uh, there are basically two types of software like application software and system software so application software is like uh, uh, the types of software which we install which are uh, our need like if i want to play one game then i am installing that software 
okay so that is one application software if i want to use ms word application then i am uh, like installing the ms office package okay so this is what this is one application software if you want to use uh, like uh, adobe reader if you want to read one pdf file then obviously you should have one uh, like uh, adobe reader software so okay so what you will do you will install that software so this is your need this is the user need so the uh, software which are the user need basically is known as application software but if you want to run your computer system then you need one kind of system software system software means without which you cannot perform any kind of application software okay so that is known as system software so this operating system is one kind of system software okay so we can say that an operating system is a software that manages the computer hardware and uh, this hardware must process or must provide the appropriate mechanism to ensure the correct operation of the computer system okay so this is the main definition basically which i have mentioned over here and uh, if you want to check it with the help of one diagram then you can check it like this so this is basically your computer system where i have uh, written like computer hardware computer hardware means the laptop or the computer system uh, of any brand okay then if you want to work with this uh, like there are number of users like uh, in uh, like uh, if uh, i have taken a number of students of one class in one lab okay then uh, there are different different students who want to use a different different computer system so uh, if different students means the different different user want to like interact with computer system uh, which are in the lab then basically you should have one operating system then only you can interact with that computer system okay so with the help of uh, operating system this is basically one interface with the help of which all kind of user will interact with the computer system okay then uh, like uh, in case of system and application programs So, so basically in case of system software we are having different different types of system software compiler is one kind of system software okay assembler is one kind of system software and uh, like if you want to use different different application okay then there are different different application software also like one kind of text editor text editor means like if you want to like write something then you can use uh, notepad you can use ms word application so this is known as one application software that is known as text editor software then database system database system or you can say database software like if you want to use uh, like one kind of dbms software so basically this is one kind of application software for example if you want to run any kind of query then uh, you can do so with the help of one kind of database software so in system and application programs mean system and application softwares so if uh, any of, any of the user want to use any kind of one software or application software then the first need is to have uh, is the, uh, operating system okay then only you can run any other kind of uh, uh, like application software okay hope uh, this uh, uh, like diagram is clear to everyone now uh, you just move forward to the next thing that is like uh, some more definition of operating system so uh, the operating system we can say that it is a set of uh, special programs because in case of operating system there are number of programs which are which are written in the background okay because your operating system handle all kind of input devices it handles all kind of output devices it handles all kind of application programs it uh, this uh, operating system takes the like commands from the user then it uh, sends these uh, commands to like particular uh, particular like um, different kind of hardware or different kind of software okay so like where what type of command you have given to the computer system so these all tasks are, are uh, handled by this operating system so that is why you are saying that it is a set of special programs that run on a computer system and uh, it allows uh, to work properly and uh, it performs basic tasks such as recognizing the input from the keyboard like if you want to write something then obviously if you are writing it in one text editor then it is basically recognizing with the help of this operating system 
so keeping the track of files like directories on the disk like if you want uh, to search one kind of file in your computer system in any of the drive then obviously uh, the operating system is uh, keeping track of that in that okay so if you want to send our output to the display screen if you want to control any kind of peripheral devices like input and output devices so all these tasks are being performed or controlled by the operating system okay so operating system is designed to serve two basic purposes and the first purpose is to control the allocation and use of computing system resources among the various users and tasks so this is basically the first function then the second function is like um, it provides an interface between the computer hardware and the programmer that simplifies and makes the feasible for coding creation debugging of application programs like if you are using c programming so this is one kind of application software okay so with the help of operating system you can run that up application software you can write the command you can run that command okay so basically these are the tasks then different examples of operating system so basically there are different different examples of operating system like the first one is ms dos then uh, windows operating system and uh, linux operating system android mobile operating system and ios mobile operating system okay so different different types of operating systems are there and um, so one by one i want to discuss uh, these all types of uh, operating system these are basically the examples of operating system so uh, first one is ms dos i think uh, it has gone so till now uh, you just cover from uh, like this much of uh, slides okay thank you everyone ha waise wo sab prepare kar lenge bata diya tha maine na morning mein ha wo log kar lenge ha ji ha ji okay sir हाँ जी क्या हुआ 